the Nikki Glaser podcast. Billy is a sex slave. Here's Nikki. Hello, it's me. It's Nikki. I'm the problem. It's me. What's up, everyone? Good. Um, I was. What's the What's the word to say for good week? Like good afternoon, good day. There's good no good week. Good morrow to you, sir. But that's good tomorrow. Oh, that's like good to. I don't know what good, good morrow is. Night to to you, sir. Good week. Good week. What is uh, that? Portu- is that Russian? Portuguese. Portuguese. No, it's Portuguese. Eh? Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's to the is, everything's cool. <laughs> everything's cool except the finale of Love is Blind Brazil was very anticlimactic. <laughs> Uh, you're probably one of 300 people who got to it. Um, <laughs> there were a lot of anticlimactic things leading up to that. Yeah. No, actually, it was pretty good. I did I did appreciate the wreck. It was not as bad of a recommendation as, what did I say was the worst? Oh, the hatchet-wielding hitchhiker. <laughs> Sounds like a great thing to watch. Did it, And I, for some reason, missed that entire storyline. I don't know if you knew about this guy. He got like a lot, he went viral in 2013 for fighting off a guy who had slammed his car into a man. He, this, Hatchewitch, it doesn't even matter. Whatever. This guy <laughs> made the news in 2013 when a, a year I was very savvy and paying attention to things and he went viral and I don't know how I missed it, but he was everywhere. Feels like I was like, I, do you ever have something happen to you where you like haven't heard of it and you go like, how did I miss that? All the time. Any murder. Any murder? Yeah. What do you mean any murder? If there's a murder and I didn't hear of it, that's weird. Oh, because I got my finger on the pulse. Like, the, what is there a murder recently flatline. that you've been like, whoa, I can't believe I missed. That I didn't one. know about Idaho till you guys told me. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, because that's you're like into old murders. Like, did you? Yeah, I'm kind of stuck on some, but yeah. I should know. But I you should know be about Delphi it. when I started. Yes. By the way, th- let me set the stage. Taylor McGraw is here. She's been on the show. She was on yeah, last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Backed by popular demand, both from everyone here and um, all the besties love you too. <laughs> also, I, I just want to say that Taylor is living in St. Louis now. That's why she is on the podcast so much more. The first time you heard her when she was on with me and Andrew was you were living in New York. That's right. Not too far from where Anya is right now, yeah. right? Anya, me and yeah, Anya were twenty names. minutes away. So weird, and just mm-hmm. randomly. I mean, like you're my friend from high school. Anya's my friend from um, college, twenty first grade, <laughs> whatever. <College. laughs> yeah, what yeah, grade would that be? Twenty fourth. <laughs> um, no, it was probably like yeah, it was probably twenty first grade because it was ten years ago, and my twenty three <laughs> union was. Uh, so twenty first grade was uh, Anya, and. Um, yeah, and then you moved back here, and now you're living here, mm-hmm. and you also are like, working for me, kind of. I'm. She's my boss. She's my housekeeper. I'm a peon. I feel like I'm your <laughs> boss. Like I, I fucking love you as my housekeeper. So like you have. I'm keeping it. It's just the best thing to, and I know again, this is like, uh, just privilege that I'm able to have this because as you know, so many people have kids and husbands and jobs and they also have to fold their own clothes and put away their stuff, <laughs> but I don't have to. <laughs> I walk in the door with a bunch of suitcases every week and Taylor empties them and then or puts it all away. You guys don't understand. My life has been for 20 years of getting home and never unpacking and living out of that suitcase until I have to pack again. So it's, it honestly, recently since Mm-mm. you've been doing this for me, I get I don't know what to do with myself sometimes. Oh. I'm just so excited when everything is in its place. It makes your life it just is a it shows me how much of my mental anguish comes from like my environment. Yeah. But then when things are clean you go, well, I got to yeah. fuck something else. This isn't That's I used to put I mean. all my anxiety in this and now what? But I like organize so the pen drawer. I check all the pens and make sure they still have ink. I get wow. I mean, you do get wow. <laughs> What's the most like what is the craziest thing you found that won't be completely humiliating to me but um, also it, humiliating you can do because I mean I really don't have any secrets a pile of money like the biggest <laughs> pile of money I've ever seen I think I've talked about that on it here was yeah. like already <laughs> this fat it was like a foot can thick. I explain what it was from um no I can't because I don't remember where all that cash came it from but like I got a lost but got it a, was oh you know what's from maybe lost when I am living in LA which I was for uh, for October, November, you get paid cash for these sets mm-hmm. you do. And I am not used to working in LA and making like so much money every night. But celebrities get paid so much for stupid stuff. I do a 15 minute set, a thing that by the way, I used to pay to do. Mm-hmm. Like so t- the idea, and then once you make it, clubs would pay you $7. I would have to sign a little piece of paper. I mean, 2015 at the improv I was working, I'd sign a piece of paper 
and get paid seven dollars and i'd be like what is even the point of all of this and then you perform for hundreds of people but i it's just the way it was and now i go and there's like people running the shows like outsourced and they pay comics well and so and you get paid in cash and it's so nice so that's what that is all from and nowhere takes cash yeah it's so it just stockpiles it. so that explains that anything like just a, a beauty item like anything that what do you do like last week i told you my vibrators i was like i'm so sorry because i bring those on the road one at least <laughs> And what I'm like, I was like, you don't have to touch that. Like, I hope you know that anything that is like sex, you're not like. I just go like, I, I pince it. You pince, pince it with your fingers. What if I, what, you know, I, I like smell Nikki's. I want you to uh, pick it up with your mouth. <laughs> I smell your armpits of things to see mm. if it That stinks, is the grossest thing you have away. to do for sure. I don't care. I think smell it's great. My you things. don't stink. It smell like you. If you smelled oh, mine, you would oh barf. God. But I just thought, what if That's I smelled so nice. your dillies to see if they were used? <laughs> <laughs> it's like used, used, not used. Do, do I need to they wash it? They would always it? seem. <laughs> I feel like they always seem clean because. Well, I used to have a, a cleaner, and I would feel so good about myself when I would go and use them and then <laughs> like go. Usually, I just run them under Give water, them but that doesn't get everything off sometimes. Like so, I had this spray that this company sent me, and I would always feel like I am such. A wife, <laughs> like a good housewife, <laughs> cleaning off my dildos, giving baby a bath. <laughs> yeah, but now it's, it's just like after you come, you just kind of want to like, I don't know, yeah. I'm just like pull it out or whatever. I've just sort of pull it off and then just throw it on the bedspread. It gets kind of like come on your on your comforter. That's probably how they got their names. <laughs> That's the name of the store. Come on your comforter. Come, come on your furter. Uh, like a frankfurter, but it's a comforter. Yeah. And then it like bleaches it kind of. I don't know what's in my <laughs> fucking jizz, but that's the, the truth of the matter. Um, but yeah, you haven't come across anything too. No. Course, it's just so nice to have someone who goes through all your wares under and other um, and Upper. not have any shame about it, which I never have. But also when someone's like doing stuff for you, you tend to like not want to be there because it just seems like yeah i think i'm talking although about i want you here because i'm like what the fuck is that remember you're like i was like what is i couldn't figure out what it was and they were singing straws <laughs> like, I'm like, what the hell is all this shit? <laughs> people who go on my instagram live know exactly what a singing straw <laughs> is it's like the 37 people who watch me sing on instagram from this <laughs> podcast account um they are yeah they're things that like help you set your chords in the right way you like straight sing through them but someone had recently in the comments when i was singing one day was like singing straws have been the mvp of 2022 <laughs> for nikki and i was like you're so right I, I depend on them so much but uh now i've got a new vocal teacher who hasn't mentioned singing straws even once oh. um mm. speaking of singing we did lots of it this weekend um i was on the road so many good shows only two but it felt like i don't know it just felt like a whole thing i was on the road with anya in the band The Natural Lines, who opened for me in New Haven, Connecticut, and in New York City. Heard Sold of it. Out. Beacon Show. Theater. Sold out. Sold out. 2,700 seats, a baby. How did that um, feel? I mean, like, I tricked Jeez. someone. There was a part of me that was like, people are just here because they, like, got free tickets. I don't even know. You know, like, you just don't let it in. But also, no, it felt amazing. I was so appreciative and I, I hope everyone has a good time and I'm like kind of burdened by thinking like at least there are at least like this is low three people who like hated me out of the 2700 <laughs> that got brought along. Like they were just like, I didn't like this show and they're allowed to. I mean, I'm, there's three people leaving Adele's shows that are just like, Ugh. yeah, not good. You know, like no matter where because someone gets brought along. None of my fans went there and went, oh, that was awful. I didn't like lose anyone that night, but I didn't. There's some people that left and that really irks me. But at the same time, it doesn't. <laughs> I just don't focus on it. I don't think about those three people, even though it sounds like I do. I'm just thinking of them right now, but I really don't. Um, But then I also it's I don't let in too much good and I don't let in too much bad. Like the like who is the quote, Anya? Was that you? Richard Dreyfus told me in an acting uh in an acting class that I took from him, you're never as good as you thought you were, and you're never as bad as you thought you were. Which I love. Yeah, and Harry and Styles also mantra. said a thing similar to that of like the the people who love you are wrong, and the people who hate you are wrong. Everyone's Ooh. wrong. Like no one's, or they're not right. I guess was the point. Like the people who are like fanatical about you and think you're like the fucking best are probably cuckoo. Yeah. And the like people, that, no but you know what? I think people are the best. And I, 
I know they are. Yeah. I, I am very confident in my taste. I don't think to the they're point wrong. I, I cry sometimes when people aren't on board with my taste. <laughs> Do you ever get offended? Are you offended someone, by my that I don't love Tay Tay as much? Taylor Swift? No. That that's like you got to be at the right place, right you. time. You're wrong, and I know that, <laughs> but I'm not like hurt by it. You know what I mean? I'm, I, the thing is, if you thought <laughs> I, she was crap and not talented, I don't. I don't. You would. You, there was something wrong with your brain. I There's used just to, no but you argument. Changed my mind. She's. It, you watch her live. You watch her performances. There's just no doubt. She's a. She's phenomenal. Um, but in terms of like being obsessed with her, no, I'll let that. Like you don't. No one. No one needs to do that. Millions of us do, and so <laughs> millions can't be wrong. So I don't know what to tell you there. But uh, no, to each his own for that. But sometimes I don't know. I just get um, uh, like this is good, and if you don't think it's good, I question my friendship sometimes. That makes sense. If people didn't so, like Peter Gabriel, think about that, you guys. Peter Gabriel, which one does? What does he sing? Sledgehammer. Oh, I love that song. Yes. Okay. Red rain is coming down. Mm-hmm. Wait till karaoke, baby. Really? Oh yeah, <laughs> karaoke's coming up. We're gonna sing for Taylor's birthday. I'm practicing. Um, Are you gonna sing? Yeah, Red so rain? we sang a lot this weekend. Maybe I will. What's your karaoke song, Anya? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh wait, Nothing Anya doesn't like to you. singers. Don't like yes. karaoke. Really? I hate it. I'm like, just let me control the volume and the mixing. Ooh. I this whole mix is bad. Oh, I, don't I agree like with you. In a loud bar, I need my vocal to be super loud. I need the crowd to be church like, well, and I need the mm, track to be mm. quiet. Yes. And then I need well, multiple takes. I feel the same way. That's why I like to go to the places where you can control that stuff. And if you can't, you just have to, it's a it's a practice in letting go. But I have the same thing issues with karaoke places. People sing too loud. The music's terrible. And everyone's talking, and it's like, and sometimes songs are too long. Someone will pick a song that's oh. their song, and it's like, okay, we but you don't warn know. off that you're a bad singer. No, you don't know. Yeah. But you should be, there should be like a little warning next to it. <laughs> it's like, if you ain't good, you're going to lose everyone, and they're going to resent You'll you. You'll be my warning, because there's going to need to be some. No, I think we're going to have so much fun. But um, I, I just suffer with that when Anya and I this weekend, uh, well, every weekend, Anya and I usually sing the last song of hers together. Or she lets me sing most of it, and then um, the man, and then I, then we've been adding on anti-hero after it just for fun because I've been practicing that song in my vo- voice class, and I'm a little bit more confident with it. And everyone knows it; it's like a number one song right now, and it's fun to sing along. But then this weekend we had the Natural Lines, which is uh, Matt Pond, Anya's fiance, my tour manager's band. And uh, they opened, and it was so much fun. And they'd opened before, but we sang. They had me come out for Antihero at the end of it. It was so freaking fun. It was so good. It was, and you so nailed fun to sing with it. The band. And to just yeah, to be on the road with that many people too is so fun too. Because there's always someone to talk to if you need them. To if you need someone, something I'm realizing I really need in my life is like if I need someone to talk to, they're around. That's the good thing about marriage. Yeah. yeah. Or like living with someone is that I know people are like, I need my space. But like when I you can get your space when you live with someone, you just like take a go somewhere or something. Yeah, go in a different room. But when you live alone, you don't get to just suddenly conjure someone to talk to you. I mean, you can on the phone, but in person, it just feels different. Does anyone does this? Yes. Anyone relate? Yeah, totally. I get like lonely Um, and I just need not even like I want a conversation. I just want someone there to watch something with me. Yeah, but I wanted like, to be watching my Instagram commit. story. <laughs> yeah, come just put you peek over my shoulder. Can you and look watch at this Reddit. Like, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I just want someone there, um, and so I think that that's because I'm like I don't know. There's so many like good things about marriage and like forever with someone, and then there's so many parts that people are like, it's hard. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's a constant uh, battle, and you go, I don't, why would chain. I sign up for that? And they're like, no matter what, there's gonna be huge problems. <laughs> like, <laughs> huge I compromise. Well, people go like, it's a, you're gonna have huge, you're gonna have moments <laughs> where you want to call it quits, and I'm like, I don't want to do, I don't want to sign up for something that brings me th- a lot of pain that I have to just swallow and be like, and people saying. But in a marriage, you can't run away. It's like, I love running away. Yeah, just cohab. Why do you have to get married? That's the thing that's weird. Even cohab make- is a lot because you're like, oh, God, if I decide I don't want to do this, he's got to like move his bed out and stuff. And I got to, we got to like, <laughs> you have two there beds has to be like a there. moving day. <laughs> well, yeah, that's maybe a problem is that I've, I've made him set up in another bedroom. 
<laughs> but a lot of successful married couples sleep in separate rooms. No, I've, I've already said that. Like, I'm um, looking at houses coming up in L.A. just to see what's out there. And my specs have been two rooms or three rooms, one for like a studio, one for me and one for my husband's it, to be or husbands. slash partner <laughs> husbands, Evelyn Hugo, uh, <laughs> to sleep in when we're in a fight. <laughs> guest and, I, room. And, and there's no guest room because <laughs> I don't want to encourage guests. Like unless yeah. unless it's like you guys and it's like one person. I don't want <laughs> people thinking that there's a space for them there. No, you can't be too accommodating. And if there is, I'll be like, yes, there is. But uh, my boyfriend and I are fighting right now. So he's he's sleeping in it. You're fighting every guest. time I come to town. <laughs> well, things aren't going well. But <laughs> you know what? what? That's what a relationship is. There's a lot of ups, a lot of lows, man. Like, you get kicked when you're down. You get kicked when you're up. And I mean, honestly, it's the same way I feel about the kids thing, which uh, update, I decided not to freeze yes. my eggs, which you guys all know. But I was, no, I don't know if you knew it. I decided I put the kobosh. Is that what they say? Kibosh. Um, eggs. Kibosh. Or is it kobosh? Kobosh. Because they said Amy Kobosh. <laughs> it's a Klobuchar. I put the Klobuchar you would on not. my eggs. We, yeah. I, uh, I The fact that I pulled out Amy Klobuchar's name and I also could not come up with uh, Nancy Pelosi being the secretary or a uh, speaker, speaker of house. Yeah. I mean, I know certain things. Um, so what happened? Yeah, no more eggs freezing. I went to go get my prescription before my appointment the other morning and it was the appointment to be like, here's how you do your... Medicine. And once you pick up the meds, you can't return the meds, which, by the way, I did ask. I go, it's there's seven thousand dollars about. And I go, I know for one round and and they might need to add on. So I already knew these costs going in. It's not more. It's not more than they told me up front. But when you see it at Walgreens, you don't pay seven thousand dollars for anything at Walgreens. So it was stressing me out. <laughs> not that as Walgreens. For the, Speak for so, yourself, bitch. <laughs> it's like a. But it's a nice Walgreens. It's like it's. It's not even a Walgreens. It's just like they don't have anything extra. It's just a pharmacy, and you walk in, and it's just it's fertility stuff. Like everyone, everyone oh, that yes. worked it, walked in there looked a little bit. Um, fertile. So, pale, uh, pale. Fer- yeah, fertile is what I meant. Not, <laughs> not desperate. Sad. So, um, no offense, but I felt desperate. I walked in and I'm just like waiting for this woman to get her fucking eggs to go or her eggs supply, her, her egg, egg dying kit scrambled. <laughs> yeah, and she's like walks out with a puts it in a cooler, and I can tell she's going to her desk job. And I'm like, oh, this bitch is gonna have to like go to the bathroom and eject herself and spend. She probably doesn't at even- work. Yeah, at work, because that's what happened. Uh, like, you got to, like, this is a no, no. whole thing. So I didn't learn schedule. what I'd have to do because I get to the front and I go, can I return these? I'm about to go to an appointment. I'm supposed to bring them so she can show me how to work them. But can I bring Jesus. them back if I decide I don't want to? And she was like, no. She goes, they should have demos over there. <laughs> Come back. She was like, go. And I was like, Good. I go, no, I'll just pay you. for it. And I pulled out my card and she goes, they have demos. And I was like, I'll take this as a sign. So yes. I leave and I go to over there. And Anya calls me on the way and I cry to Anya about like, here's the things I want about it. Here's the things I don't. And then I go in there and I uh, will tell you what happened right after this. (laughs) (laughs) You tease. Spence. So I go in to the clinic for my appointment where I like, we're starting things. This is it. No backing out, but I don't have my meds with me. The doctor clocks it. I see her as I be, get taken to my room. I can see she clocks that I don't have a no suitcase, <laughs> scoot suitcase, or a suitcase of meds to inject myself with. So I know she knows. And we've texted the day before because I was like, I'm having doubts. She's like, talk to me about them. I go, I don't want to talk on the phone. We'll talk about it. No, actually, I'm going to do it. You're right. I'm going to do it. Like, I don't know what convinced me to do it that day but I was like I'm gonna do it so I'm back and forth with her and she knows and then I go in there and they're like they tell me to undress so I have no pants on and I'm like in the stirrups with the sheet over my legs and I know I'm putting my pants back on without I'm not getting doing any of this (laughs) so the doctor comes in and and she's like what's going on and I was like I just feel like I'm not doing this for me. I don't relate to any of those ornaments on your tree out there. The ornaments are still there being like, don't ever give up. You can do this. Go for what you want. And I'm like, I don't relate to a single ornament from one of those baby children that got conceived here. I did not and have one. All those what am I doing here? were written by women who are going through the fertility process, right? No, they're written written by women who 
the ba- the kids have been conceived there. Supposedly. Oh, the, it's written by the So phoenixes. when they come in for, like, maybe they're trying to conceive more in the kid that they did already have there, they, like, write a thing. And the mom instructs it looks them, like but it's sweet. It, it's written yeah, by Yeah, they're a baby. all written by kids. But it's cute. Mm-hmm. It is cute. And if I, <laughs> listen, if I were a woman who was, like, my fertility is in question, I want a baby so bad, like, it would be uplifting to me to read those. But that's not where I'm at. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want this. And I don't want to do this. And it's so much money. And so I got in there and she was like, I think we put a pot. I was like instantly like just crying. And I was like, if we do get eggs, they're going to be fucking stressed out because this is stressing me out so much. They're just going to be like, they're going to look like those emojis that are like, <laughs> <laughs> like just that's what the eggs will all look like under a microscope is that like stressed out emoji. And so she was like, let's put a pause. And she was very understanding. And I was like, I'm sorry, I've wasted your time and your money. I was like, but I've already put on a down a down payment. So I know that you'll keep that. And she was like, no, we won't. You get yes. that back. And I'm like, I love all what this. are down payments if you don't have to? I always think of a down payment as you don't get that back. Do you? No, what about you? The whole point you get it back. Why? Because they're just making sure you're kind of serious about it. I don't know. But yeah, like, like what secures the... your your place in line. Yeah. Okay. Go. Okay. But I just don't. see... It would be so I evil think of down to keep payment. that. Really? Yeah. Because you didn't. Well, they do didn't it. work. They 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 called they me got a lot. Paid. They... Well, they didn't know, do the, but... the actual work that they. Right. That's what the down for. payment is for the yeah, but future the, work. I, I don't know. There was a lot of clerical work done. I know that like work went <laughs> into what they They're still charging you for me. the appointment. I know. I go in there and That's take true. that money back if you didn't get it. I know. I, I just I'm too I just I'll felt steal. guilty because people I had talked on the phone with so many of these women and cried to them and gone in for appointments like it just felt like I was giving up on this thing that they were like had dollar signs in their eyes about me. I, and even that, I know, they actually care about me there. I know they do because they let me go. And so that made me feel very taken care of. Mm. But I don't know. I do feel bad when someone sees like money coming in and they're excited. We all get excited about a, a big chunk of money and then it goes away. <laughs> like I kind of feel bad. Yeah, but they're not They're. It, it's not like they're business. They're just yeah. employees. You're thinking yeah. about they're not this getting like more a, for no, you. The doctor, it's her practice. She gonna make some money. Yeah, but she's not make a it anyway. struggling comedian. Like, or she, you're thinking about this like young Nikki Glazer yeah. hitting the scene, trying to earn money well, for not, her it's family. It's not Elon Musk. She's a, doctors aren't like she has bills to pay. I don't know. I just oh, have I'm saying like, is a, a very guilt. similar guilty feeling over canceling an Airbnb early. Yeah, and I I had. Like Avi had to do it because I was like, yes. but they're relying on our two hundred and forty dollars. Oh, no, like no. we can't do this, even though we had nothing to do in truth or consequences. Remember? Yes. Um, but you know what? In the terms oh, yeah. of the Airbnb, the owner of the of, of the house said you can cancel. So he, so I'm sure somewhere in the terms. No, of she the was. Clinic, she was like looked at me like I was crazy when I was like keep it just keep it I like fought her on it. she was like no it's not policy to keep yeah, it down I was like rules. exactly what's it there for so I do understand that so I was just she made me feel better about it and I did convince myself like oh I paid for the appointment and, and you know this is just this is the price of doing business for them is like yes. they're gonna lose some yeah. like you gotta have a wide net um but yeah I've, as soon as I decided not to though oh my god I was just felt so free and so good of like, I honestly felt like I got my tubes tied. Like it was that final of like, <laughs> you know what? I could have fucking a million babies. I'm a fertile fucking bitch. If I wanted one, I could get cummed up in right now and spit out like 1400. I know it. Like I feel like it was me more like wanting just to be fertile. And I just know if I wanted, if I want one, I'll make it happen. And if I can't have one with my body, I will adopt and I will be happy to do it. I'll always find a way. So this whole thing of like, I need to make sure that there's a, a way, it just, fertility is just the first thing you get stolen from you. The ability to have your own baby with your DNA as a human being, men will not understand this, but it is the first thing as you get older that it, there are no backsies on. You can't go back on it. And it's this thing that is like the reason you're a species, the reason your species exists, the reason you're there is because of this thing that is now going to be that that opportunity is going to be stolen from you. It's like it, and men don't understand it. Men can do it forever. So it's there's there's other things that will some come men. when you get older. I think yeah, like some men, men. Are, cannot. Some men some are what is it called? Slow. Infertile. Yes. Impotent. So I and I would empathize with those men if they told me about their infertility, because it is a hard thing to lose even if you don't want it, it's a hard thing to not be able to do a thing that you were put on this earth to do. So it's like, 
it's the it's almost like do you as a kid do you remember like not being able to, maybe i've said this on the podcast before because i've thought of this before but uh you lose the ability to like order off the kids menu that's like the first thing you lose as a kid <laughs> or go on the kids ride like or kids flags. ride yeah like you lose that mm-hmm. you go i can cups. never do that again teacups you can go on because adults can go on with kids oh good thank god but i mean i can you think of anything else you lose you lose um the kids menu because people just kind of go, mm, kids. You can't prices. be wild and like knock stuff over. I remember when I was like a teen, yes. and they're like, "You have to stop," and I was like, "No, oh, please, yeah, you can't, can't be, be wild. wild anymore." Yeah, but there's certain places where you can maybe even let that out. I'm talking like never, bitch. Yeah. Um, you can't have your parents pay for you. I remember when losing my parents' insurance when I was oh, like yeah. 26. They were like, "So you got to get your own medical insurance now." I was like, "What?" Yes. No, what do you mean? <laughs> my You're like a bitch insurance. about it to your own. Yeah. Come what? Yeah. what about the phone plan? Also, I was on their phone yeah. plan for a while. I felt Dude, like I'm all still on my sister happen. and brother's phone plan. I don't know how to pay that shit. <laughs> and as, as soon as I got enough money, I hired someone to become my daddy again and like take care of all like my insurance. I don't do any of that stuff. It scares me. That's because that you stuff... have so much shit to do. You're but not like a no, normal person. No, I would, I don't know what I would, I would be delinquent on everything if I was a, uh, if I didn't have money. I would be really bad about, maybe not, maybe I would have gone to Debtors Anonymous or something, but I, even now I have bills that I'm like forgot to send to my person that takes care of it and I know that there's, just found I some. have I'm scared there, there's going to be like a warrant out for my arrest for like not paying for an MRI or something. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> really? Like, yeah. but don't you serve jail time if you just dodge no. bills for the rest of your life? No. no. They send if you owe people after so you. much money. Yeah, collections. But what are collections going to do? Nothing. They'll find your they people. Just- They'll get, you'll have to be like bankrupt They'll at some point. They'll find my people. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, then it's on you, collections. That's what find I just my tell people. myself. And that's I a good it. idea. Yeah. Yeah, because there are you. There is a way to get that money. You're sending the bills to the wrong address. Yeah, <laughs> send them to cr- twenty Crossways Park. Um, <laughs> but I, uh, yeah, I just felt so much better after making that decision that I bought a couch that I'm really excited about. <laughs> oh, nice! And I just feel like I have so much money right now because I'm not going to have kids. I literally feel like I just won millions of dollars. I, I'm so happy you did. for you. <laughs> I do. I and did. And you're not stressed. You got all that money and you're also not stressed. Yes. Right now. And I leave myself the option to do it someday, but I am so not stressed. And I don't have to gain a bunch of weight by sticking these things mm-hmm. in myself. Like, I might regret it someday, but I don't really think I'm going I don't to think because so. I got as far as you could go to do it. It's not like I just was like, whoopsie, forgot to do it. Oh, I regret not. Like, I went to the edge and I did not jump. Mm-hmm. I'm so proud of you because we were listening, I was listening to your messages on the gr- girls chat about oh, it and I was, I was like, so sad. If anyone, if this was a friend of mine going through something not related to egg freezing and I just listened to these, like the amount of stress and duress mm-hmm. and fear and anxiety in your voice, I would be like, we need to send somebody to get this girl out. She sounds like a prisoner, like doing something against her own will. I was so yeah, proud of you. you that you risked other people's disappointment and whatever other people think of you to listen to that inner voice in you that was like, mm-hmm. I don't want to do this. Yeah, I mean, it all. you kind of nailed it for me. It's like, it just... I'm so obsessed with being like wanting to like what other people like. And I just feel like I know there are so many people out there like me that don't want kids, but I'm, I don't fe- hear enough of that <laughs> still. Mm-hmm. Like it just still gets in. It, it's, it's inevitable at 38 that those messaging, that messaging not only biologically starts like kind of screaming at you to do it, but then you just start kind of paying attention to all of it outside of you. And it's just like, oh, I need to do this thing. It just, so yeah, it was a lot of admitting that I don't, it's okay, I don't want what other girls want. Yes, it's so you hard. That's why what we I are. try to surround myself with like, you know, the algorithm knows what we want now too. So I'm trying mm-hmm. to like unfollow things. I don't, I don't want all this garbage in my face constantly about like plastic surgery or about looking. That's all I have. Yeah, and it's like, it will drive you crazy. I've been just watching Courtney Love videos and listening to her. I mean, she's batshit, yeah, but I that's want a good example of like, someone that are a little bit off the beaten path, you know? Yes. I, w- I, I want to unfollow everyone on Instagram. I This is what I want. I'll still have an Instagram, I'll still post. I literally want to follow unfollow everyone except Lizzo, Camille Caustic, 
literally um i'm trying to think of anything the dodo <laughs> um <laughs> just any and but there are certain body positive accounts that i don't want so i know that you're like also because there's a lot like saggy sarah and stuff like that like i like her but i don't want to lean into focusing on my body too much of being like I just don't, Lizzo and um, Camille Caustic are just like they always make me feel good about having uh, whatever bo- my body is. I mean, Camille, Camille Caustic's a fucking supermodel, so it's like both ends of the spectrum. So I've been focusing on that more. Like, I but I don't think it's crazy. I really want to wipe my Instagram, and I don't want to do it like I'm cool or something. Like I don't care what's going on with anyone else, and <laughs> I'm trying to be a celebrity that acts like I don't follow people secretly. I literally don't want to follow anyone anymore. Don't I don't do want to know what's going on out there. But I mean, I guess I could just still catch up with life on because I don't really scroll anyway, but I do. I do. The Explore page. That's that's fucking TikTok. They get me. I you love I don't, what Chelsea Handler has been saying about being single and childless. I need more of that to let me know it's OK that I chose. Yes. this path. And there are so many women. Then I don't need not- to read the comments on Chelsea's stuff that are like she's blah 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 like then i just start going like oh yeah well if you talk like this or you live like this who's gonna hate you and then i read the comments and i go yeah it is bad to be this comments suck man even for me i've just started i noticed the other day i almost went to comments before i watched the video itself just to be like is it what's what are people saying about (laughs) this why don't and that's normal you read movie reviews before you go to the movie but Comments are not Siskel and Ebert. <laughs> they, are, they are just whoever said the funniest, quippiest thing first. You know? Uh, is that what they do? Like comments are just huh? the algorithm sense shoots up the top comments. Oh. And it's either something funny because they're being made fun of. So you just, it it, it permeates how you then view the thing. Like are so the most pliable. Famous. Yeah, it's yes. so true. I even oh, try to sense. avoid what Matt thinks of a movie. I'll, because I can tell subconsciously sometimes I'll like adopt his point of view and I hate couples that are like we loved such and such movie like <laughs> did you both oh God, have no. the same opinion like do it yeah our one brain together. I just yeah. saw this oh person I used to like really like I saw like a like his, uh, this you can just see like what movies they watch kind of thing oh yeah you, you know what I'm saying like there's someone that like I don't talk like I've block on everything but i can just see what movies they're watching because they're in some like website where you just moot for cinephiles (laughs) okay (laughs) and you can just and it just always shows what movies they're watching and they like write reviews and stuff and i like because i don't know it's just the only and i don't ever go to it that much but like maybe once every six months and i saw that uh this person liked like like gave licorice pizza four stars like five (laughs) stars and i was like ew god i in that moment i don't even like this person or want to be with them but i was like i can't believe i ever did like this person like that i disagree (laughs) on that movie so again it comes back to taste that movie to me was so kid and like trying to be sweet there were parts of it like i love i love all the heim sisters especially uh the one that played the lead character i loved the acting in it but the movie itself was not good sorry not good if you liked it you're kind of cat you like like even the other day i watched punch drunk love which by the way thought it was gonna be so great i remember seeing it the first time i didn't like it i watched it again it's so cat <laughs> it's so art cat like there's this one shot where like pta paul thomas anderson like zooms over like and like widens it and it's like a zoom over for no reason except to be like art like this is a different kind of movie and i just turned to chris watching it and i was like you know pta when he was going like now pull it out pull the shot out i knew he was just like fucking feverishly (laughs) jerking it and like splashing everyone around him with semen because he was so excited that his shot was gonna look like so different and artistic and listen i'm only making fun of what i am because i also get really proud of myself when i do something where i'm like i'm an avant-garde artist so i (laughs) get it okay i'm cringing at the thing that i know the feeling where you think you're cool you never ever said i'm an (laughs) avant-garde secretly there's listen i would on stage at, the, at Stanford and Sons in Kansas with a cigarette for three minutes. <laughs> for a three minute set, I bring a cigarette on That's stage. That's cool. It's, no, it was kept in because the I wanted to look <laughs> badass and like wear like, a, I just wanted to look like smart and like, I don't know, what's that one writer's Bukowski-esque? Like, I don't know what I was going for. It was kuh. So we've all been kuh, but I'm not. But that's uh, what our an, 20s are for. 
I had God, pink yeah. hair for a while. I have pink clothes. hair again. That's cute. I, I'm dying On to you. do something different lately. I've been pink hair, like a nose ring. Like I said the other day, I cut my nose and it looked like there's a little dot there, and I'm like, I like it. <laughs> And I've noticed I don't have any good friends because it looks like I have chocolate on my face and no one said anything. Um, or they, I just have friends that are like, was oh, cute. oh, yeah, just a little chocolate but on my yeah. nose. Um, do, you, do you guys ever want to do anything drastic? Has there been any drastic? I almost cut bangs the other night, after, but I was so tired. It was after a long weekend. I came home and I, <laughs> so I look at tired. Matt. You need to cut like, bangs when you're uh, tired. Uh, oh. I look at Matt and I've had a very, I had a super emotional weekend. I like didn't sleep at all Friday night. I was, Nikki knows I was staying with, with her. We like were sleeping in the same bed and I was just like, I'm hot. I'm cold. I'm hot. I'm cold. I was oh, like I was so miserable stressed that night too. out. Yeah. Miserable. Oh, didn't sleep at I all. stress. <laughs> barely like then drove the next day and then we had this crazy show day and then i come home and i'm exhausted and i lay down next to matt and i just look at him i go i'm gonna cut bangs Bang. and he goes he just closed last night um one not tonight and two not in this mood <laughs> he goes not, not in, in this, this mental bed. state <laughs> yeah. yes but today yes. i trimmed them and i think i did a great job oh you like, did you kind of cut bangs that's just why long. you're sienna i think yeah Thank that's you. a bang and then the hoop how do I start I'm cutting my hair? Cute. You cut your hair too, Taylor, right? Yeah. Do you just like, is it something you learn to get good at over time? Like you fucked it up enough and you've probably, it, uh, it has to I've be. Had, yeah, I've done bangs and it was horrible. Because I'm like, I really think I can start cutting my own hair. I'll I just need to you. like, here's how you do it, Nikki. You, if oh, you're no. going to, you can't do oh, your no. whole head. Here's my tip. She already right? has the I'm scissors not right there ready. <laughs> <laughs> Here are my scissors. And they're like, de- they're like scissors like that you'd cut cardboard boxes. No, up. no, you got to get <laughs> okay. good hair cutting scissors. But you just take the section, you have to rope it off. Okay. Yeah, they're in my bathroom. Um, you can get them at CVS. They're like nine dollars. So you and take you the front like, of your hair. She has like about an inch of hair in but her you, hand. Okay. You make sure, not like I have right now. You make sure you only have the bang parts like from before that were cut. Mm-hmm. So I was just trimming them, and because my guy forgot. Then you go like this, and you chop off like however much you want, and then you do this number where you like put oh, them vertically, underneath. and you yes. just do that, and it's it's it works. Cool. Yeah. It okay. All right. Well, I tried to make s- summer rolls last night, and I was also trying to <laughs> julienne the vegetables and cut them vertically with like cucumber and carrot, and they start just getting chopped. Do you know what I'm saying? When you're they trying to make them so thin much slivers, <laughs> and then, yeah, there was. <laughs> um. Yeah, I want to do something drastic, not to my hair because it's always a regret. I think my hair, I've realized keeping it long equals fertility. <laughs> I think I know I'm what just you should thinking do. about fertility and I'm like, oh, that's why I'm obsessed with long hair. What? I think you should pro- like full on bleach. Just no for a little way. while. No way. I, so I bleached work, it though. before. It's too much work. I bleached it um, in 2015 and it does not suit my skin tone. Okay. Bad idea. Uh, Glad I already know it because I will be on board. Brunette, bleach your no. eyebrows. Gone. No. no. If anything, I've, I've been darkening Her eyebrows them are too so good. much lately. Think, and that's been a fun thing. I think, Nikki, like on the weekends, I've been loving your stage outfits. And that to Thank me you. feels like a big change. It's like almost like, yes. like an... Uh, not alternate an personality artist. but just like an on-stage persona totally Glad yeah this way this weekend i went all out i didn't know like the, the dress i ordered i ordered like four from revolve and i was going to return the rest and that one the one i chose was the one i secretly wanted but it was kind of like too much but it was it was too much but i fucking loved it no I yeah i like dressing it. up big time it's it was a little so lingerie fun. i would have preferred it to have it straps so and it to have a skirt on the bottom that wasn't lingerie because it was already so lingerie. It was like the skirt doesn't need to be laced too. It looked like so a Victoria's Secret model, like an angel. It felt like angels. Totally. Yes, that's Amazing. what it was. It was totally an angels outfit, which I love. And I mean, not not going for that look, but the top did not fit. It was like I have like kind of a longer stomach torso, so it was a little short. And so I, when I was performing, I had to wear a bra on top of it. I wore a, a Walmart bra on top of this four hundred dollar <laughs> dress. <laughs> As the you top. no one could tell. <laughs> Well, it it, so no, I could tell in pictures. In pictures, I was like, oh, my God, my stylists are going to see this and be like, is that the bra <laughs> we got her? You for, they bought it for you? I mean, like, my, I feel like all bra. of my, yeah, emer- it totally was just a backup emergency <laughs> bra to wear under a black T-shirt. Like, this is not, this is a T-shirt bra. This isn't like, this should be poking out to be sexy bra. It was like, Poking. it was only, the only one I had and I, I had no other choice. And my mom is very, like, conservative when she's like, what are you going to do? You cannot wear that. 
with the nipples coming out. And I go, if my nipple busts out, it'll be funny. Like, who <laughs> cares? She goes, Nikki, just wear it. I say wear the bra. Just wear it like that. <laughs> so... I she say. was so fun she to hang to out say. with. She was hilarious this weekend. The, the, By the way, be- yeah. go on. I'll tell you after. I won't forget. Crow? <laughs> well, Eat I was crow. getting to that. But yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> like, supporting this theory that you're the least care person around, except with your iPhone thing, which I also agree with about iPhones versus Android. Yeah, I can't help that. I'm not, I'm not trying to hate people with green bubble iPhones. I just, my subconscious doesn't like <laughs> you and thinks you're poor. My subconscious <laughs> thinks you're poor. And I, I judge you. <laughs> well, I ju- well, I don't judge you for it because I know what, like, but there's... And and it's not my fault that poor <laughs> equals bad. That's like what society has taught me. I know it's wrong. I don't actually actively want to lean into it. it just happens. It's just it's it's, 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 it's there's no control Busted. in my brain when I see a green bubble and go poor. <laughs> don't like them. <laughs> get them out yeah. of my life. Get them we out of my phone. We can only fault your conscious mind. I, but not I your don't subconscious. think it's yeah. I mean honestly, yeah. I I fight against it. So yeah, don't fault me on that. But anyway, so go on. Why am I not cut? Wh- because the after party. Cut? Well, two two cute stories about you, if I may. I'm just so proud of you. Yeah, I like, tell me. Why. Ugly cried. Jesus. Ugly cried after the show because you got a standing ovation, and it was like I, to be on the road with you for two years and to see that. Never like, seen me get one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're no. just you're just like Matt. If I tell Matt like your hair looks great today, he's like so every other day you hate my hair. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I don't expect standing ovations. I think they're actually like I think they. The reason I got one, and I, let me just say, oh my is because God. I did great. There's there's always. But I could get one every time because I've told the listeners this before. You do a thing called coying, which is I came up with from watching Joe Coy do it. You at the end of your set, you have to have a good set. You can't have a bad set. You got to end strong. You don't even have to have a good set. You got to end strong. And then when you say good night, you stay out there and you wave and you wait there at the microphone like you're saying Mm -hmm. goodbye and you wait and eventually someone will be like, I like that so much, I want to stand up, and then everyone will follow suit, and you'll get a standing ovation. <laughs> it's the trick. You can do it. The reason I got one the other night is because my dad and I were out there, and we stayed. And also, we ended on a song. It's much easier to get a standing ovation from music than it is yeah. like, and my, it was my balls the whole time. <laughs> Thank you. You know, like, it's just easier on a big fucking high note that everyone knows. You're closing <laughs> with a song everyone loves to be like, Thank you, Cleveland, than to like end with a quick about molestation and then you're like yeah you know think so these I mean, are all you raise to- an interesting point but that might be a good point but but that's I, why i've never i don't get that i don't think it's bad that i haven't gotten them but, but i did get one the other night yes but like regardless of that it still was standing ovation worthy it was an amazing song you nailed it you guys are great so you can't use your l- shitty excuses for like no. well no, it was amazing but yeah no, it was. So, I, I'm not taking so, from the fact I am amazing and I did okay, amazing. Good. And it was. <laughs> but there I are mean, there's psychological tricks to standing ovations. And I don't think that people should take credit for them literally ever unless you literally say good night and everyone stands up right away. That's right. a true one. But if okay. it takes time, you milked it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but you still did good. Yeah, but you got you kind of you played with, uh, you know, give them two seconds if there is an older crowd. They need to go. <laughs> <laughs> so you're so anyway, stage, you're like on the side stage, you finally come off and you're like, you sit down and you're taking off your super high heel boots. And I'm like, I'm ugly crying. I can't even help it. I'm just like, oh, like involuntarily like, oh, my God. And she's like, oh, my God, are you crying? I go, yeah, you got a standing ovation. She's like, did I? I think they just wanted to stand up and go. I think they just yeah, wanted to leave. I think they're leaving. Yeah. Like, no, well, that babe. is true, too. You can always, like, people, they, they're they going to get up and collect their things eventually. <laughs> By the if you speed. Stand up. Yeah. And, and then some the of them are still clapping. Thing, the other non kid thing was, like, we had this fun after party. Your people had gotten you this great cake, and we all ate cake in the – in the backstage and it was just like it's so funny how wholesome you are like for being such a a comic that's known for dirty stuff you really just love your family hanging out with friends and that's it like you don't drink you know what i mean like you'll you'll just you just want to have a good homey time and then we all went to the hotel yeah and we like all crammed like nine people into this little room with two beds and it was so cute like EJ was talking to all the band boys about guitar stuff on one bed, and then all the <laughs> girls were on the other bed, me, Nikki, Hillary, and Julie. Yeah, and we were that just galling so out over there. It was so fun. And then that's where my mom revealed that she wants a crow. <laughs> I saw that. You guys, 
I'm She's so, so cool. So and I knew I was annoyed right away when she not annoyed, but let me just I was a little bit like you want to croak because we've had I had birds as kids. <laughs> We had a parakeet, we had kiwi. Django, we had another, uh, we had uh, kiwi, and then we had Django. Django flew the coop, kiwi died. Um, and my mom was not thrilled about either of those eight birds. And it was like a fight to get them. She was happy when, not happy, but she was just kind of like, we're not getting another bird when they died. <laughs> and then suddenly she I wants a crow. That. And I go, she goes, I want a crow. And she's very serious and adamant about it. And I'm like, why? And she was like, they are the smartest birds. They're intelligent as shit, Nick. No, <laughs> they, they are smart. And, w- and she's kind of laughing when she says it, but I go, really? That's why. And she, I go, what do you want to do with this crow? Like, what do you need it to do? Like Write solve, pro- <laughs> yes. solve like little, I don't know, problems. Like, you know how you, when you see crow's intelligence, they're Sticks. always like putting like, you know, you know oh, those yeah. like like ca- wood carved things where it's like shapes and then they have to find the right shape to put the wood on. Like, is that what you want to do with crow? Like, what do you need a smart crow around for? And then this is what I got to essentially. So she kept saying, because they're smart, Nikki. And I go, parrots are smart, mom. What is a parrot not able to give you that a crow could? And I go, who's going to train? Those are trained crows that you're watching on these YouTube videos. (laughs) Usually crows like don't like you. They're not domesticated. They haven't had a long lineage of domestication. They're not like meant to be around people. And you, she actively wanted one. Come to find out. And I like the way they look. And I go, yeah. that's why you want a they're crow. They're sexy. You want a crow because they're, you. she likes, she goes, I have crows all over my house. And I go, I know you do. That's why you want a crow because of its looks. And, you know, nothing lights my fire up more than like, I like this animal because it looks this way and I'm going to prefer it than this one who looks like. But aren't that's we why all that we have, way? Oh, you like Theo James. Yeah, but I don't want it. Uh, if I, in my life, had a place for to love a man okay i wouldn't go theo james or nothing let's say theo james is my crow if my mom is this yeah. the, the analogy i would go okay even though the, the thing i want isn't gonna look like i will settle for something else that will give me just as much because theo james is not really a good match for me because it's gonna peck my eyes out at some point because <laughs> it's not domesticated so i might give my if i actually if i think my mom has enough love in her life to give an animal and like wants to get a pet, but it has to be a crow. <laughs> then that bog that bugs me because just then give cat. that love to something else. Just because of its look, she wouldn't love like obviously you have a piece of your heart. You get to like you could you have the time that you can commit to an animal. Give it to something that maybe doesn't look like a crow, but if you want the, like I don't know. I feel the same way about adoption. Like if you can't have your own kid, then go then adopt. Clearly, you have love in your heart for a kid. Just because it's not going to look the way you want it to, maybe try this other thing because you clearly have something to give the world. Why not? So that's what made me mad is that my mom like has always hated birds, but now she wants a crow because of the way it looks. <laughs> and that's what bugs me about people who get designer dogs and stuff like that. Like, I did not like the way Marion looked <laughs> or oh, yeah. Luigi when I got sent pictures of them. <gasps> The first time Weesh. when I had a dog in my mind of what dog I wanted, it did not look like either of those dogs. What did it and look I have like? To tell you, yeah. I don't even remember Sexy. at the time it looked ug- it looked uglier than Mary like it was dark there was like one I'll show you it just the, I had I fell in love with this one dog that I ended up losing so I kind of had my like locked around this like a little chihuahua that looked exactly like littler than Luigi a little thinner a little bit more needy not as like <laughs> scraggly like I didn't want a white dog I don't want anything that resembled a terrier like I had a aesthetics in mind like right. everyone does but then I signed up to be a foster so that I wouldn't have to commit to a dog I didn't want. And guess what? I Those dogs are so much better looking than any other fucking dog I could ever <laughs> imagine for myself. I literally think everyone else's Sex dog lives. is gross and mine are, are perfect. And they're not perfect. They're just mine and I love them. And if they were someone else's, I'd be like, they're not as good as mine. So it's just, I, you can love anything if... If you have enough love in your heart to consider getting something, let the looks thing go. Unless you have to fuck it. If you have to fuck your dog, <laughs> you oh have to. Yeah. You they have told to. me I had if to. Getting a dog, if fucking your dog and being sexually attracted to it is like a, a part of having one, then yes, maybe that you should get one that you need to fuck and be attracted to. Much like in a relationship. Like I don't want, I'm not telling people just get involved with someone who you are disgusted by just because <laughs> you need a partner. But actually, maybe, I don't know. 
Does this make sense? Uh, Your mom that was last like, part there. <laughs> I'll take a ray. She goes, I want a crow. I want a crow or a raven. I don't know the difference. She doesn't know the difference. Ra- I go, you need to do some more research before you get a crow. Is there a difference? <laughs> Let's lean into our stupidity. Um, yes. No, the, no one knows this, by the Taylor way. I've, I've come up with a group of people before talking about this. And if we don't know it, we're not stupid. What do you mean? What do you know? I think they're different. I've looked it up before. Ravens are bigger and more gothic. Oh, oh. God. They, they like screech they in the toenails. Dead. Yes. <laughs> they scream. Why is a raven they like, like hide a in the shadows. <laughs> no. <laughs> they I think they're they hide in the sh- shadows. They're like more goth. I think they're smaller, right? Oh, I thought they were bigger. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Forget it. Okay, Forget no, it. I just I'm made that idiot. up. I literally Ravens know hang out on like gargoyles and crows are just yes, in the cornfield. Exactly. <laughs> what yes. did they do before gargoyles though? Like weren't <laughs> ravens around before then? They crows were... like peck the eyes of um scarecrows and yeah. ravens hang out on gargoyles. But if you just saw, okay, in, out of context, if it was just a picture of one on a blank sheet of paper with no gargoyle <laughs> or no scarecrows. You'd like, see the you look them? in its eye. <laughs> <laughs> It'd have a blood red eye. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which ones are like the, the raven? The raven, yeah, yeah raven. Because it's gothic. Because if you, well, oh, oh, if you're a goth, would you rather be named Raven or Crow? Raven, because it's yeah. It's but a good I, I would argue too. Crow right. because the Crow yeah. is like the quintessential the goth movie. Crow, yeah. Crow. And someone died on the Crow, much like Ross. Raven is so much more care okay, though. Like ravens are in a higher. Yes. Oh, someone's bracket, named Raven. Sorry, actually, that's, that's so, raven. so Raven. I no, that's Raven's so... a cool name. No, the um, bird. I'm saying the bird. Yeah, ravens are, are wealthier a bird. Yeah, like really? crows are crows are blue collar. Like they pigeons. Crows are like yeah, blue collar. <laughs> Because they have to wear the little collar because they're like okay. someone's peon pet. They are cool. My mom is not wrong. They're cool. Okay, we got to go to break. And we're we're not only going to discuss ravens and crows and really not come to any kind of conclusion about what they are. Sexy, oh, my God. Like, Anya's holding up a picture of Luigi looking so handsome. He God. Sexy. Anya looks pictures so of him. much like He's- Theo James. Noah has been... <laughs> Watching the Luigi and Marion, I can't get into details why, but she watched them over the weekend when my parents were in New York, <laughs> and Abby took them. pictures of Aww. yeah of them. While, and these pictures, I can't get over Noah. He They're is really so good. good. He, looks he looks like a rapper here, or like Timothy Chalamet. He's so he, he's hot. like he's skating on why a skateboard. Is, and we'll like, have Luigi's hot pictures cut. on our Instagram, so you can like really get, get all juiced up. Thirst <laughs> traps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We should do a calendar. He is. He, he has no idea. That's he, the thing I love about Luigi. He's is so hot. Sick. He doesn't know he's hot. He's humble. I feel he like doesn't. he puts oil on his. We gotta his go to fur. break. Okay, we'll talk less about this when we get back. <laughs> All right, we're back, and um, it's it's the Nikki Glazer podcast, and let's play a game that we haven't played a little in a little bit on here called uh, Top One, Bottom One. Today's category is. Drinks. Drink. Drink. But anything besides coffee. And can I make another addendum to this? Yeah, addend it up. So I feel like <sighs> all of us love seltzer. How about no seltzer allowed? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm into this. No seltzer. It can have a seltzer base. Yes, thank you. If it's yeah, like a co- mocktail, but not okay. just a clear <sighs> seltzer like brand. We can't no Waterloo's, no LaCroix, no Zevia's, unfortunately. Um or can I do Zevia? Yes, of course. No, you can't. Well, it's a Noah. seltzer. Is it a seltzer? But everything or is it like has seltzer in it. Like everything, soda has seltz in it. We just but can't do plain seltz. seltzer. Plain seltzer. Got it. Okay, wasn't going to top like my list anyway. Better Don't than even one. worry. Okay, let's start with um, the worst. Top, bottom. Do you have your worst drink, Taylor? Uh, Coca-Cola. Co- Disgusto. Wait, Pepsi? <laughs> You're a Pepsi? Or Pepsi. Oh, wait. Oh, cola. Cola. Just cola? Yeah. RC? Oh. Wait, wh- what about Dr. Pepper? That's not cola, is it? I don't know. Do uh, you hate oh. it? Oh. No. <laughs> okay, no. so then it's not cola. Soda. Soda. Is that too broad? Just cola, like the flavor cola. Cola is disgusting. Why? I don't, I haven't had it since I was a kid. One time I remember I kissed a boy and he tasted like cola and it was disgusting. <laughs> so like. And I dumped him. But you think if like. Dr. Pepper, do you think you'd like it? Or do you count that as like... No, I loved it when I was a kid. What about now? What about Diet Dr. Pepper or Diet Cola? I, w- I wouldn't drink Diet. Okay. This is an interesting one. I don't even know <laughs> what to think about it. Because I don't I know. What about, do what, what about... No, what about um, 
orange soda, like any kind. I of, don't drink any soda. This sucks. I'm bad at this. No, you're not bad at it. But why don't you drink any soda? I don't. It's too much sugar. I don't like sugar. You don't like sugar. You don't like sugar. I don't like sweet stuff. Uh-uh. What? I think I know that about you, but I forgot it. Now yeah. I relearned it. All right. Um, your worst one is cola. <laughs> <laughs> it's the grossest thing I could think of. Um, my <laughs> worst like one would have to be eggnog because it's oh, both the milk it. and eggs, it. which are the two of the grossest things I can think of. It's just, and I just, <sighs> or a plain glass of milk, anything like that. But to really make it, it would be like drinking. I hate deviled eggs. That's my number one worst oh, food. It's my favorite food. <sighs> where, where did we come from? Um, <laughs> eggnog for me is gonna t- like it. Just I think I would really have a gag reflex on that, and I don't have that mm. usually for even blowjobs. It's so. kind of like the aftermath of a blowjob. Really? Yeah. Ugh, creamy. Creamy. Ugh. Juicy. I bet it what? is good. I just it's have so never good. had it because it sounds. It looks like plain milk. A little tint to it. And it look and it has the word egg in it. It's disgusting. very sweet. Oh, it is. Oh yeah, you can Super make it. Sweet. I made it for Christmas. Well, what does it sweet. taste like? Any does it taste like cake batter or something? Like is it or does it taste eggy? Yeah, it's Didn't like a fro- it it's like a melted froyo. It doesn't, but it it doesn't taste eggy. No, no. What really? Mm-mm. Yeah, it's it's what delicious. the fuck? <laughs> it's raw Wait, egg, so I don't know. Why would yeah, someone tell me that to get into it? Because everyone's always like, you gotta try you eggnog. Eggs. Eggs. <laughs> no, but before I was vegan, everyone's like eggnog. It's like, but it has the word egg in it. Why would anyone want to drink something with egg? So it Dude, doesn't taste like eggs. Have you no. tried what vegan the eggnog? Fuck? I insane. am blown away. <laughs> I'm seriously blown away. I missed out on eggnog, and it tastes like cake batter. Yeah, it's really freaking what the bomb. fuck and it's sweet i thought it was just like i thought literally it was like drinking egg yolks and like no. you know like sylvester stallone like <laughs> drinking like i know stirred up eggs with a little worse. milk in it i well, probably could make it for you why would you keep telling children about egg why wouldn't you say it's called eggnog but it tastes nothing like eggs because eggs are gross to drink because they would just have a sip and no also like, you why see is that you want to drink an it. egg cream it doesn't even have eggs in it what what's egg cream isn't an egg cream just a, like a soda drink with some? I've never what heard is of in an it? egg cream. You've never, never heard of an egg heard cream? Of like your grandpa uh-uh. probably drank egg creams. No. An egg cream grandpa. is a cold beverage consisting of never. milk, carbonated mm-hmm. water, and flavored syrup. No eggs. No egg. Okay, well, this is eggs need to understand that if you put your name in something <laughs> else, people are not going to drink Get it. Get out of here with that. And you're, they're not going to know that there's nothing, there's no egg in it. Yeah, wait till you try out of the vegan eggnog. When I, I drink, that's why I can't wait you. now because I was thinking I would love a vegan eggnog, but I don't want it to taste like egg. I don't want to be reminded of egg flavor in a, a beverage. It's, it's really good. It's just like, okay. It's like nutmeg. Now my mouth is watering because I'm thinking of drinking like liquefied cake batter and I'm like, I'm going to make it for you. It's still winter. It's allowed. Oh, your socks are doing that thing to me. Don't rub your socks together. That's eggnog on feet. Okay. (laughs) Noah. My leg. I have a cramp from my chair. Your leg is nogging off. It's nogging off. (laughs) <laughs> okay, Noah, what is your least favorite? Drink? My least favorite beverage has to be chamomile tea. Ah, and chamomile tea? Why? Because when we were kids, after we would have stomach aches and throw up, our parents would <gasps> force us to drink chamomile. Oh, so good now, answer. So now every time I taste it or smell it, I get that like soreness in the back of my throat, you know, from like the bile ah, of yeah. throw up. So it just... And it's just instant. I don't. Chemical I don't even know tea. what chamomile tastes like. I mean, that makes total sense. That that. Yeah, if we're not going alcoholic drinks, because like Jaeger for me, I, even saying the word, I start to <gasps> yak up because Jaeger. I've had. I've uh, almost had alcohol poisoning. Jaeger. Jaeger. Yeah. Okay. So we all have that. So we're not including those on this. No. So um, cold. Yeah, that's a really good one because it's just such a, you know, response to like trauma that. You know, you know, you were going through, and chamomile tea to me reminds me tastes like, um, this restaurant. <laughs> what does it taste like? It tastes like B-O. I want to feel like cool right now, and everyone else at the table is ordering tea, so I will too. And the only one they have that isn't <laughs> caffeinated is chamomile tea. That's what that's what chamomile tea tastes like. Is that I'm at a cozy restaurant <laughs> with my friends, trying to see like someone who just like likes tea, even though I want to chug 18 diet cokes, and it. <laughs> tastes like disappointment flower disappointment 
and I it like tastes it. like I'm starving and I want to eat and this fucking stupid restaurant takes too long and everyone's like what are you gonna have and no one can decide on what they want and everyone is waiting to order what you want before they get to their order it tastes like waiting for people to decide what they want to eat Worst. and then also picking at their appetizer and we're not gonna get the entrees until the appetizer <laughs> and I actually ordered a bunch of appetizers for my entree so my appetizers are sitting in front of me and I'm waiting for everyone else to get their entrees because I don't like to eat before people because then when you eat I just end up getting jealous because I'm still hungry because I never there's never enough food and that's what chamomile tea tastes like to me just order oh, wow. you know what you want you've been to a Thai restaurant before okay this doesn't work for Thai because chamomile this is isn't just there, a but... night at the comedy cellar yes just know what you want faster and also eat like faster everyone please mm-hmm. that yes. dines with me okay I'm sick of slowies oh my god um Anya. No offense no we Anya Least favorite drink. Uh, there were so many that I had, but um, I'm gonna settle on kampot. It's a Russian <gasps> drink, which Ooh. is just. Ooh, I liked. Taylor knows you did. What yeah. kampot? Kampot. I think it's compote in English, but yes. it's kampot, and it's just they take fruit, old fruit, and just cut it up. This is how my mom does it: just old fruit that's rotting in your house. Cut it up as like it's <gasps> turning pears, apples, plums, and then put it in a big thing and yeah. pour water over it that's it and just put it in the fridge so it's not even Yuck, sweetened dude. it's just it's like, like jelly right rotten. it's kind of so like, it's like no or, it's a drink it's, for, it's a drink with but you're fruit supposed in to, the bottom i mean it comes from really tough times when things weren't going well <laughs> and we had rotted fruit and that's all you could afford i mean it sounds like a drink based on yeah yeah tough times um <laughs> You know, like it's a poor, poor drink. In the marina household. It's like the, it's like the green text bubbles of drinks. I was always um, like, you know, she'd pour it for me and I'd be like, but why is there no sugar in here or no honey? It just tastes like it's almost, it's either oh, almost like it rotten and sweet. horrible or so far from being good. There are so many drinks in Russia spindrift. that are drinks. Does it taste like a rotted spindrift? Is like spindrift. not enough fruit in it. <sighs> yes, you're drinking one right now. Listen, I like them. But they're always leave me like, oh, it's not enough. Wanting more. And it's like, it's just a soda being like, you don't get to drink actual fruit. Yes. You know that you don't deserve five grams of sugar. You get <laughs> a half of one per can. And you should be happy with that, fatty. Like spindrifts are always just like, you're, you don't, you're not enough. Um, okay. <laughs> yes. Compost. 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 Okay, yeah, it's too close to compost, which is what yeah, it actually which is, is pretty much. <laughs> yeah, kombucha. It smells Kompo- like a compost. Yeah. Oh, you know what kombucha is in Russia? They take bread and water, and then they just let it ferment, which is basically or mushrooms, and th- let that ferment. No, and that they call just that grows on it because it's rotting. K v a s kvass. I'm gonna make kvass, and it's just kombucha. Oh, but it's not. This is all ujus. <laughs> A Russian word I learned that means like disgusting, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Ooh, um, all right, let's get to the top because my stomach's turning to turn. Speaking of <laughs> things turning, the fruit turns, my stomach turns. Uh, talking about gross drinks. Now let's get to the great be- beverages. What's your favorite beverage? Me? Yes. Um, uh, uh, I like a, a Bali yogurt soda, mint flavor. A Bali <gasps> yogurt yes. soda, mint Do you like flavor. It, guys? I've never that heard of my it. bottom. <laughs> it's. It really? It's yes. seltzer and yogurt, kind of. Like it's bubbly <laughs> yogurt with mint flavor. What? And it's so good. Wait, where did you I find this? I just had this? one yesterday. Where do you find it? I got like it at an Indian the, uh, grocery store? Global Foods, but it, it's like, um, it's Middle Eastern. How did you originally discover it? At the, I, I'm living in San Francisco, just like at a corner store. Really? You took a chance on that? Oh, that I take sounds, so many chances. You do? I bought like 50 things of pickles yesterday. I don't know what the hell they were. Oh, Pickled, man. Uh, got some Russian. I, I've Pickled been on a pickle sorrel. thing. But sometimes you're just in the, not pickled beverage though. My uh, mom would be no, so pickle, into just pickles right now. Who? Your mom would? <gasps> She'd be so into this. Yeah, that was on my list. That was my Andrew's third list. So you favorite. like to try different things like rather than just stick to what you know? You'll, you'll be like, oh, yes. this is an interesting new beverage. Yeah, yeah. I love oh, Bev's. As long really? as it doesn't have sugar. As long as it's oh, not sweet. So this I'll doesn't have it. any sugar in it? Maybe it's a little bit in the yogurt, but Yeah, me really. too. Okay, I'll try. Well, there's not vegan ones, probably. There might be. Maybe. I'll make okay. it for you. Um, I've never heard of that. Good to know. My favorite recently, and this is just for recently, has been Nacho Mama's <gasps> Medium Salsa, a pint of it. Oh. It's... <laughs> I've been drinking the brown it. One? Salsa. My 
My ma- my mouth is watering right now. I Your can't parents it. used to bring me there when we were kids, and I would drink I, that brown I, one. It's the medium, whatever oh. one it is. I accidentally got the mild one the other day, and it wasn't as good. Boner. But I went to go see my kid <laughs> sister's kids gymnastics class, and it's right by Nacho Mamas, which oh. is my favorite Mexican place in St. Louis. And the the salsa is not chunky; it's like so fine. And it's and like you really it's can't so sip on this cup. Like I oh sipped on God, a cup at the gymnastics class. It like it's gazpacho. It's so good. My throat. I'm. <laughs> I'm salivating. I'm so wet I'm right now. Seriously, I'm, too. I can't oh. even take it. It's so delicious. Let's go right now. Oh, I want to go later. So actually, good. I think I might have to go drive back and pick up my trays from my orthodontist that I forgot there this morning. So I might go back and get some. But oh. I go. They go. Do you want chips with that? And I'm like. No. No. LOL. No, I don't need chips. I'm drinking. I drank two pints of it the other day. But didn't your like it's so two salty? Pints. What did it do yeah, to I your know gastro- it's so salty. intestinal tract? Nothing. It was great. No, it, it was a fucking fiesta up in there. I loved it. I feel like last time I did that, and sometimes when I uh, drink too much salt, my eyes get all puffy. And I'm like, oh, sure they oh. did. I probably looked crazy <laughs> for a day. You're right. I probably it was probably so much salt. I don't yeah. even know what they put in it. I'm sorry. Don't tell I me won't. Nacho I won't. Mamas. I won't. Um, oh, it's not like fresh blended. Oh, it's fresh. It's fresh. But who knows what they they like, probably add sugar so to it. I mean, salt, it is though. so okay. good. All right, what's your favorite beverage, at, uh, Noah? Okay, so this is like a new thing that I discovered. Um, I don't like milk in my drinks and I have not had any success with boba tea. However, there's a place mm-hmm. here in town called Ding Tea. It's a Taiwanese tea house and they have this like kumquat lemonade and they have these like popping boba balls that are like passion oh. fruit flavor. And the combination of the two is just like heaven. <laughs> oh my God. I want to try this. You so bad. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> Wait, what? So, what is the base of the milk or whatever? The tea? so the base, I could choose something that's not tea, which is uh, they have like all these different options of like lemonade, and this one is kumquat lemonade. Kumquat lemonade mm-hmm. plus the passion fruit boba. Yeah, and it's like these tea. Yeah, and it's kind of like gushers because the boba balls, like when they yes. pop, you get this like little. Well, I love baby. boba when I used to have that, when I was in Thailand. We got some boba, but it was the milk. I like the milky version. That's um okay. There's no milk in it though, so it's like clear no. lemonade. And they and customize it. it. You can choose like how sweet you want and how much ice. Ooh. Ugh. How often do you get one every day? No, that that would not be good. <laughs> Is it like so much sugar, you think? No, it's actually because I get like 0% sugar in it, like in the drink. Then why is it, wouldn't it be good to get it every day? Because I'd have to like, uh, like drive out there. Oh yeah. See, this would be a million no problem plastic for me. Cups. I would yeah. drive. I would I, walk 500 miles. I would literally do any, for anything I loved <laughs> I that much, I would get it every day, especially if it was like, not that bad for me. Um, No, that's good that you have But we get it on the weekends. Oh, a treat. Ooh, a treat. a yeah. treat. I love, I was what right with you, Nikki. Is. Like, my thought was, I'm like, why, why wouldn't you get it three times a day? <laughs> why wouldn't you move closer to that location? Why, why wouldn't you, make you sure put on disguises outside. so you could go there twice and why keep the same why people wouldn't you working sabotage your relationship? <laughs> <laughs> why don't you get two accounts so that you can pre-order it with different names? So that yes. Why don't you get a burner phone? <laughs> so you can <laughs> Why would you? Why don't you find out if they are on Uber Eats and Postmates? You can order those at the same time. Why don't you and throw then also away go pick up in person their um, restraining order that they say? <laughs> can you imagine getting a restraining order for a fucking boba place? You're going too much. I almost. I went to a massage place today, but for the second time in a week, and I requested the girl that I love, Linda. She wasn't as good today, but like I was, I, I, as I was getting one, I was like, "Can I come back tonight?" Like Linda will still be here because I know she's probably an indentured <laughs> but Linda's slave. Linda's tired whatever, but, now. Yeah, but I'd rather her work on me than someone else who might be like mean to her. And I tip really well, so I might as well go back. Oh. But I also don't want them to like get it. Think I'm like crazy. Horny. But it's just uh, yeah, horny. Like, oh, I know. Oh, Linda. Linda, my back is so horny for just like getting <laughs> dug, getting some thumb action. Final thought. Anya. You don't want to hear my favorite tea. What is your favorite? Th- yeah, that's no, this is the final is, thought. Mine is so boring, but I like that we're allowed to have food in ours. Like yours is a food, Noah's is a food. As long as you're sw- guzzling, g- gulping it, and like g- you could, ch- g- if you can oh, chug yeah. the food, it's that's a drink. what I like. It's like a little bit dangerous. Like I'm living on the edge, and I did end up choking on one <laughs> yeah. over the weekend. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I want to try this. I never die. had a boba tea it's in my so- life. <laughs> okay. What is it? I, I've been really, because it's winter, I've been into these hot um, 
lemon ginger teas and I chop up fresh ginger and then I put honey in it and a half of stevia and piping hot and it's so delicious. Ooh, I also okay. love a mocktail. It's tied with, if I go out um, to a bar, I like a gin- very gingery mocktail with a lot of citrus and they're not too sweet, but kind of sweet. Oh yeah, that was sweet. so good. The one you had in New York at that b- place we went to the last night on the girls' oh, trip. Oh yes. That was that, delish. It was I so love gingery. when they give you a little, if any mixologists are listening, when you give us those little ginger candies on a toothpick, that is mm. everything to me. I will come back time and time again. I will come three times in one Why night. Why don't you just buy some ginger candies? Have you ever thought I, of that? I do. I have them sometimes, but it's just ginger not the shoes? same. Because when you served yeah. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so fun okay. in a bar to have like a little candy to chew on. I it's gotta, a treat. I got to just give a little courtesy shout out to Diet Coke because it was going to top <clears> my thing. I used to hate diet coke so much they used to get because my mom would drink them in the 90s 80s 90s and i would sometimes drink from it and i'd be like it gives me a headache like my body definitely tasted like there's something toxic in this and i hated it (laughs) and then you know you get to be a a, a woman of an age and then you get marketed to that you're fat and then you start going well diet coke's the only thing i can drink i would be bad to do anything else so then you start drinking it and you kind of go oh i like it and then you get addicted to it because it's so fucking addictive um, and then I quit Diet Coke from 2000. I remember the last time I had it was at Stand Up New York on 78th and Broadway. 79th I'm going to say the 7th of September. And it was probably 2000. Anya and I were living together 2010 or something. So I went like 10 years without having Diet Coke, maybe more, or any diet soda. And then... Andrew and I got back into it in 2020, I think, like, or 2021. I think mm-hmm. we were on F Boy One. And it started just like one a day. Like, I fucking love Diet Coke. It is a treat that I enjoy. I have no shame about it anymore. I know it is bad for me. I do not have like, t- like, I think the former president of the United States, Donald Trump, had like 12 a day or something. Mm. What? That's excessive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he he just Why lives on shocked? Diet Coke and McDonald's. <laughs> Why are you shocked? I know. He had really and funny Adderall. tweets about it. <laughs> and he Adderall. loved Diet Coke. Yeah. And Adderall, allegedly. But like, let's, come on. Yeah. Like, obviously. Um, and, uh, but I love Diet Coke. I love, but I don't want it in a can. I want it in a bottle. Plastic bottle. Sorry, environment. Sorry, world. <laughs> We're already, it's nothing to do. Um, and I just love it so much. And I, I, for all my Diet Coke heads out there, like, you've done nothing wrong it feels you feel like you should be drinking out of a paper bag sometimes it's almost like paired with anything huh paired with anything yeah like any food uh i would say like low level depression it's (laughs) paired best with (laughs) is like when you're just starting to hover on like i think i might be getting really sad get a diet coke the caffeine will jolt you out of it it's like a treat in your mouth um paired with anything no honestly i just i like one on its own it's so attached to like I don't want to eat right now for me that like I don't like it. I don't need to eat anything with it, even though I would because I don't not eat when I'm hungry. But like I it just it's something that I want when I'm like, I'm not hungry, but I'm also like I don't want a coffee. It's just the best. I just love it. And um, I hope that I never reach a place where I need to give it up again. I wonder what wonder what happened last time. I think I was just drinking too many of them. And I probably read some study that they age you or something, which they totally hit do. Rock bottom. Yeah, they're bad for you, but I did hit a rock bottom. Oh, my neck is cracking. Oh, there's one really good like muscle that if I turn a certain way, it like really pinches. Ooh, I love it. Mm, I love crackalacking. I don't like cracking, but I oh, oh when people crack let's their knuckles, get it cracking. No, no, no. Uh, oh, oh good. Cool. That actually sounded kind of satisfying. Ah. Oh my god, are you? So do you like? Cra- do you get um? Can, thank don't you, do thank it. You. But the worst crackage ever was what people in school would pull their finger. I don't pull. Crack it. That's gross. No, 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 no. no. I, I like it. A, no, don't, Anya, uh, you stop that right now. I did it. No, stop it. Ah, it, it, it could never go back, Anya. It could stay out. It could never go back. It could stay out. You'll oh. never come back. I can only do it <laughs> on three on each back. hand. <laughs> um. All right, guys. We're gonna finish up the show. Any final thoughts? Um. To to say I'm going to L. A. This week. I'm doing, I don't know, I'm getting some injections in my face. I know Why? That. Because I'm doing a partnership coming up. Oh, TBD, nice. That I'm going to get some little, I need a little something anyway. Just a little bit. And then um, and then I'm filming a 
pilot and um and then i'm in florida this weekend tampa Ooh. and orlando two shows each i believe tickets still available come on out i'm gonna be so excited to be in florida because it's cold as fuck I here know. right now we should bring our bathing Spricked. suits <gasps> maybe there's a hot tub yeah you guys go in the you. oh you could dip a toe no i would love to put on a bathing suit i'm fucking feel i gained weight recently and i like it i'm Show owning it boobs. i want it I, I like feeling um i like feeling juicy like i either feel really skinny or i feel like in between like like thick i like feeling thick when i'm like oh i got a fucking ass i don't like that in between stage which is like know, that's where i feel I uncomfortable right now i feel like i'm committed to to juice yes. and um, <laughs> to juice. i'm gonna record this and play it for you in two weeks yeah no don't because <laughs> you, i know when you i believe me when i hate my body i know that i've said that i like it this before about recorded. the same body no, I, that is true. Oh, yeah. Uh, Anya, it's a podcast. What? Uh, you go, I'm going to record this, this and play it for you later. You. It's like, well, you, it's, it'll be a podcast. It's, it's actually available I'm just going to sample all that. Podcast. Um, no, I know. When I feel bad about my body, I know what I've said good about it before. I know I'm in a delusional tunnel. Playing audio of me liking it at one point will not help me. I guarantee you it'll make me shut down and even go deeper. So please do not play this back. But right now, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Um, and we're going to have a show tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Thank you so much for listening. Don't be care and Jackpot. Jeremiah. The Bullfrog. <laughs>